In the veil of the blazing sun lies one of Toronto's most unseen notorious crimes. That is one of animal abuse. Even very fit dogs and cats can suffer heat-related illnesses during the sizzling days of summer. Animals with compromised health are at even greater risk. Vaughn Mills Mall has been the first to take the lead on a directive solely for checking vehicles for confined animals. Uh, we started in July of 2012 and it's been doing quite well since. Um, it really was due to the result of a tragic incident we had here where we had a, do a dog fatally uh, left in a vehicle in hot conditions. So as a result, we reviewed our procedures, um, how we monitor it, and we came up with this new pet uh, patrol program, which has done extraordinarily well since then. Well, I think initially we pulled up, we were a little surprised. Uh, it seemed like high security, but uh, as we drove away, we thought it was a good thing. I mean, some people don't really think about leaving their windows open a crack, and the dogs, you know, or, or whatever animal will be okay, and uh, we have dogs, so we don't mind it. We don't mind it at all. Oh, it's been, a, it's been an excellent response. Uh, we track it on Twitter, we track it on Facebook. Um, the emails coming in are, are unbelievable. Uh, so 95 to almost 100% of all comments are very, very positive, very much in support of the program. Uh, and and it's, it's just overwhelming, actually, the positive reactions. At the end of the day, there seems to be a tiny bit of apprehension and confusion with some on dealing with this topic. It is clear as a bell what will happen if you leave a child confined in a car, let alone confined, period. There are many child protection laws in our society. Dogs and cats don't have the same inalienable rights, so we need to do our best as a society to facilitate to their needs. Their rights sometimes get overlooked, yet millions want to domesticate them and bring them into the fold as one of the family. A member of the Toronto Humane Society gave a brief quote during a telephone interview. He said, we want to educate the public on signs of animal distress, so we are going to the calls that are the highest priority. They continued to explain that several 911 calls were made for immediate emergency response when a pet was found in an unattended vehicle during a heat wave in early July. In fact, uh, just yesterday, or two days ago actually, we had a situation where a pet was left in the vehicle and the emergency services were called. I responded just when the owner came back out, uh, but it still happens. So here are some signs that we need to know that a pet is in imminent danger. Excessive panting and thick drool. A dark pink or purple tongue. A glazed over appearance. Loss of bowels. The animal is either extremely lethargic or panicking to get out of the vehicle. Here are some common sense strategies that many forget in order to protect their animals during a heat wave. Keep them inside during the hottest part of the day. Scale back vigorously outdoor exercise. Never leave your dog in a parked car on a hot day, not even for a minute. If you see an animal left in someone else's parked car in the heat, Notify a store employee right away. Try not bringing your pet to the mall at all. Make alternative arrangements. If you really have to leave them in the car, leave them with a capable individual who can take care of them during your absence. For more information, visit the Toronto Humane Society website. So generally speaking, what happens is when uh, we have guards posted at our five major entrances, so when temperatures are over 30 degrees Celsius or there's a heat advisory, we have the pet patrol implemented. So it runs six to eight hours a day roughly, not the full day, but a good portion of the day. And it's more of an educational type of program. So when our customers drive in, what will happen is the guards will stop them, ask them if they have any pets. If the answer is no, they continue on their way. If they have pets, we ask them, are they planning on keeping the pets in the car? Um, and if the answer is yes, we advise them the dangers involved with that, and then we monitor them from then on. Uh, we have mobile patrols which will take the information and follow, uh, keep tabs, uh, we have a closed circuit uh, television system, we can track it that way. And within about five minutes from them parking, if we manage to find where they are and we follow properly, and it doesn't always happen, but that's the ideal situation, we'll contact emergency services. If, um, if they are contacted, they're usually here within five minutes, give or take a bit, uh, and then they will proceed from there. And that would be either fire or police. 
The heat-related death of a beloved pet is a tragic, completely preventable situation. There are no statistics on how many dogs die every year from heat exposure because the majority of cases go unreported. But estimates are several hundreds of pets suffer this slow, agonizing, and unnecessary fate every summer. Hopefully the proactive actions of the Vaughn Mills Mall will lead by example and save a few pets' lives. This has been a special GBC News Report.